Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be sharing with you all how COVID-19 has affected me by halting my plans and adjusting my schedule for the year 2020. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am coming to you all this evening. It is eight o'clock. I'm here in my office and this is Monday. Yes, it is the Monday following Thanksgiving. I'm coming to you all, I think it's the 28th, to um, share about how this COVID-19 has um, affected me, not physically, but how it has put a a halt in some plans that I had and how it halted some projects. And the reason why I'm coming because I've gotten um, uh, questions, you know, about projects that I started in my home. Um, what is the outcome of this or um, where is part three on the video? And what I'm talking about is my foyer wall. And then I've gotten questions about, um, the project that I have been doing this summer, the bathroom tile that I did for my, um, is actually my daughter's father's home. She's living with him. So what I want to do is I'm just, I just want to share with everyone um, how COVID has affected me as far as my plans. It hasn't affected me physically. Um, my dad just got over it. Thank goodness he was in the hospital uh, with pneumonia and tested positive for that. Uh, but he came home the day before Thanksgiving, so we were able to Zoom and have Thanksgiving with him via Zoom. And now my sister, because she was helping him and took him to the hospital, she uh, it, she contracted it. It's a disease. I don't know what you want to call it, but now she's, she's going to be okay. She says she's doing better, but um, I hear it's not a comfortable thing to live with. I don't know. But... Um, we are trusting and believing she's going to be okay. But what I decided to do was just to share with everyone. I wrote down a timeline and it's just to explain to everyone where I've been and those that have questions about, okay, you started this project. They're not saying that, but this is what I am reading into. You started this project, but we don't see the completion of it. And this is the reason why COVID-19 has thrown a wrench in a lot of people's lives. And it did mine. My birthday is January 9th. And the reason why I share that is because I can remember starting on my birthday or the week after is when things just not went haywire, but I began to get really, really, really busy. So my birthday is January 9th. On January 18th, or before my birthday, actually, I, and I'll put a screenshot of the different videos that I've done. I started on doing some updates to my home. I started with my foyer entry, putting up the molding. And just to let you all know, it is still like it was from January. Nothing has been done because I have not been home for seven months. I have not been home since January 18th. Um, I started that in the beginning of January, not knowing about COVID, that this was going to come about. And um, the young man that was helping me in this, he, him and his wife now have a third new, ba a new baby. She was born in September. So I'm not pulling him away from his family. So quite naturally, the projects that started in this home he assists with me, it's going to be completed by me, myself alone. It's going to take a little while, but it's going to get done. It will not get finished this year because we are here in November, getting ready to go into December. And I'll be leaving home again to go back to Florida to be with my grands and my children for Christmas and keep my grands too as well while they're out of school for the Christmas holidays. And they don't go back to school to January 5th. And that's when I'll be coming back home. So that wall will not be completed. Hopefully I can get this done, the wall, by the end of January 2021, and I'll have that to show you to all. 
But to get back to how COVID has affected me. Again, my birthday was January 9th, but before then I was putting up the wall and had plans um, to have that wall completed by the end of January. And then I started on my dining room wall um, in the midst of that and my bathroom wall downstairs. So those are three walls that I started on and all three of them are still the way they were when I started. And January 18th, I flew out to Baltimore, Maryland to help my sister with her apartment. She had just moved there and that was something that was already planned. Um, we already had the airline tickets and everything paid for. So I was in Baltimore, Maryland, January 15th to February 15th. And then I flew back home. But then while I was there in Baltimore, Maryland, I accepted to, I accepted another project to help my cousin in Sumter, South Carolina. So when I got back home February 15th, I was home just for a week and I flew back out the following Saturday, February um, 22nd, I believe. I believe it was February 22nd and came back, well, the Thursday and came back home that Sunday. And I wasn't home long. Um, March 28th is when I flew, not flew, but drove to Florida because my daughter, she was, she had to be prepared to move out of her apartment by April 1st. They found out the children's schools closed because of the COVID. So I went there to Florida to assist her, to help her. So we're talking about February. I may have been home maybe three weeks from February to March 28th because then I was came home helping my daughter that used to live here and this office was her bedroom i was helping her pack up because she moved to jacksonville florida so doing all that i was doing it put everything that i had planned and i started for myself for my home on hold which is still on hold and is going to remain on hold until january hopefully we won't run into something like this again so January 18th to February 14th, uh, February 15th, I was in Baltimore, Maryland. Came back the following weekend, I went to Charlotte, South Carolina to help my cousin with her business decorating. This is what I do. I help people decorate their homes. I help them um, update their kitchens and their bathrooms or whatever it is that they would like done. And of course, placing mine on hold. Uh, March 28th, up until I just got home, Two weeks ago, November 14th. Now, while in Florida, um, I not only was helping my daughters with their children, I accepted doing other people's homes. And those videos have been uploaded, the bathrooms that I was doing, the kitchen um, that I was doing. And in between those projects, I was participating in collaborations, doing my own DIYs, just to, just to keep content coming on my channel. I didn't want to just go staying busy with other people's projects and not have other things to kind of interject to put on my channel. I try to upload things at least twice a week, if not every Friday. I try to do that every Friday. Um, I think I missed maybe two Fridays since being active. Um, but with that, this COVID thing has really taken its toll on a lot of people, not just health wise, but it has just, we're just in a different situation, what they call the new normal. People are working from home, not able to leave home, um, not going out shopping a lot. I didn't do a lot going out, but the homes that I did, they were friends and family people that I know and I still, I maintain the social distancing requirements. I made sure that I did that. But I just wanted to share this, the reason why I have not uploaded the update of my foyer entry wall and my dining room wall and my bathroom half bath downstairs is because I have not been home. I've been away from home since, like I said, January 18th. I came home on February uh, 15th. And I, after going back out and leaving again on February 22nd, I was home maybe two or three weeks 
with however many weeks it is from the 22nd to March 28th, March 28th, I left to go help my daughter, my daughters and my grands, keeping them and homeschooling them while they were at work. So I did that and I was away from home. I think I might have came home maybe two, yeah, two weekends, I believe it was in June. And that was just to me and my sister help my dad or drove my dad to Alabama because he had death in the family and he couldn't drive. So me and my sister did it. But coming, I flew from Jacksonville, flew to Baltimore to help my sister drive my dad from Baltimore, come through South Carolina, through Atlanta to go to Alabama. But we stopped here in my home just to rest overnight instead of paying for a hotel room to drive to Alabama. Then we came back and we rested again and drove back to Baltimore. And then I took a plane and flew back to Florida to pick up on the other projects that I had already committed to. And then while doing that, I got the call. The last project I did was my sister in Baltimore, my other sister, when her basement flooded. I uploaded those videos as well. And she wanted me to help get her basement um, back in an acceptable living standard. And of course, I'm not gonna say no to my sister. I did that. My plans was after I was done with my um, nephew's apartment in Jacksonville, when I got done with that, my plans was to not take on any more projects and just come home and finish on what I've got. But I didn't do that. I went to Baltimore and I helped my sister and in October, I, I think I left October 17th, I believe it was. Yes, October 17th. And I just got back home November 14th. So literally I have been gone away from my home. What is that? Seven, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Gone home almost eight months, eight, nine months. And I'm getting ready to leave back to go to florida and i every year i promised my brands i'm always there for their birthday and for christmas and i assist my daughter with keeping my granddaughter when she has to go to work and the children out of school so my projects in my home as much as i want to get them done they are going to be on hold until 2021 because again here it is almost to the end and going into december I'm having to do this on my own now, which is fine because I can do it. I just don't have the tools and equipment. The young man that was helping me, um, I, again, I'm not going to call him away from his family because, again, they got a new baby. And I appreciate him getting me started um, using the tools. And plus, he has a full-time job. He was helping me on his off days and helping me get started. So because I'm here by myself, I now have to just save up what I can to invest in the tools that I need to finish my foyer entry, which will get done. Right now I'm doing what I can by just um, putting in the wood putty and sanding things down until I can complete and do what I want done so that I can have that to show you all and share with you all. So um, I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers. The positive that I can say this year is I reached a thousand subscribers and that was an amazement to me for doing all that I did while I was away from home. And I do appreciate you all and I, I do appreciate you all understanding. And I know we all had something that we had to deal with um, during this COVID-19. Again, I just hope that we don't have to go through another uh, COVID situation again coming and entering into 2021. So I just want to thank you all for stopping by and let's just continue to be safe and to be mindful of our surroundings when we are out. And I just want to, again, thank everyone for stopping by and supporting my channel. And also I wanted to say, I will be, while I'm in Florida, I will be doing a review for those that want to know how is the marble tile, um, peel and stick uh, tile, contact paper is holding up. I will be doing a review. I did talk to my daughter. I did that bathroom, which again is in Florida. I live in Atlanta, but she says there's no issues, no problem. I told her how to wash it, which is with a soft scrub. And I'm going to demonstrate all that when I get there. But I talked with her just last week. It was the week of Thanksgiving. And she says there's nothing wrong with it. It's holding up fine. 
So I will be doing that a review while there. And I will be just sharing with everyone how the, the um, contact paper is holding up in the shower. That is um, waterproof. And I have used it. I've used it in my bathroom. I've used it in my other daughter's kitchen around her sink, the area where the water is splashed all the time. And she's had no issues in her kitchen. Um, but I will be doing a review of that. And it'll be around the Christmas holiday time. I will... Um, Put a I guess a reminder now that I have access to this community tab I'll put in the community tab that I will be doing a review to kind of give everybody a heads up I guess a 24 hour heads up so that um, you'll know to look out for the video of my review on the peel and stick contact paper that I applied in the shower the bathroom makeover that I did earlier this summer so I want to thank you all for stopping by. And again, let's be safe. Thank you so much for watching. JRC Restoration, Decor, and Designs. And remember, the distance between your dreams and reality is called action. So until next time, make it a blessed and productive day, everyone. Bye-bye.